Hello, welcome to Stone Magpie. My name is Suzanne and today I wanted to give you an update on this diamond painting, Supernova, from Dreamer Designs. You may well have seen the whip and chat video that Anthea and I did together from Whitby and I wanted to do an update to show you where we'd got up to because unfortunately we didn't get a chance to do another video together. If you didn't see that video, I'll link it in the eye for you to be able to find easily if you do want to watch that one. So, whilst we were in Whitby, we did continue working on the area that we were doing together. So, Anthea did indeed finish the Crescent Moon and I did continue. You may well be able to see I've got around here up to that point there and down. So we got quite a lot done in this area, but we also did a little bit further up. So hopefully you can see in the top left corner, we also started that area. I've managed to do a little bit of outlining here and a few of those sun rays there. So again, another good chunk of diamond painting done here. And we did just sort of dip in and out together. Usually Anthea did some while she was waiting for me to get up. <laughs> And I did some when I was waiting for Anthea to get ready. So we just sort of dipped in and out together. Sometimes on an evening, we were diamond painting together too and watching YouTube videos. So yeah, we had really good fun with it. But unfortunately, we didn't do another video together on this one. Right, things to feed back to you. One thing that both Anthea and I commented on as we were diamond painting was that sometimes as we're doing an area, the canvas sort of does a little bump. It sort of lifts up while we're diamond painting and it doesn't create too much of an issue. It was just an observation, but we both found that quite strange. And then once the diamonds are down, it does lay flat again. I've had this one rolled since we returned from Whitby, so probably about a week this has been rolled into the protective sleeve and it has already laid a lot better than what it came out of the protective bag like. So there is no issue with it, like I say, just an observation. Also, the eagle-eyed among you may have realised when I was diamond painting this cloud area here, um, I filled in these bits with the number one symbol. However, <laughs> I got a little bit confused because I have kept numbers on from a previous kit and I ended up using this number one, which is actually that symbol instead of the number one symbol, which is this one. And these are ABs. <laughs> So after the filming occurred and we were sitting down again together afterwards, I realised what I'd done here and ended up having to pick all of these bits off the canvas with my tweezers while Anthea continued diamond painting. So yes, it's a good job it wasn't on video because I think the air turned a little bit blue. <laughs> And all I can say is that this glue is very, very sticky and the diamonds took quite a bit of getting off. So it is a benefit when you put the correct diamonds on because they will stick really well. <laughs> but just a warning to check the symbols before you place them because it is quite a job to remove them. Because they were ABs, I decided to do it. I may well have been tempted just to leave them had they not been ABs, but I have corrected all my wrongness and feel very angelic for doing so. <laughs> so yes, just beware that if you do keep numbers on that don't relate to the kit, you need to be doubly sure. I always usually kit up by symbol and so it was just habit that um, I shouldn't really have left these numbers on, I don't think. Anyway, a lesson learned for me in the future. Now, another feedback to give you is static. Oh my goodness. It started out okay. Anthea noticed static quite early on when she was diamond painting with these blue diamonds here. And it was quite a trial, I do have to say. 
I had this already kitted up and I also took the spare bag of diamonds too. Because each container is quite small, I decided to take the bag with us because I didn't want us to run out of any colours while we were there. So what we did, we put this in the freezer for a few hours while we were out sightseeing and came back, sat down that evening and these were a lot better than the containers. However, we still had a few issues with them. These ones are so bad that I can hardly multiplace with them. Now, I kept them without dryer sheets in. I didn't take any dryer sheets with us, hence the test on the freezer compartment. So these still need dryer sheets putting in. I didn't want to do that before I showed you the diamonds themselves. So what I'll do, I'll show you some three tens that I have in the pot and show you what we were struggling with. Yeah. Now these ones are not laying too badly actually. Oop. But what we were finding was as we were diamond painting, you can see some of the clumps forming already here, there. Um, but as we were diamond painting, it was getting worse and worse, so much so that I wasn't getting any of these runs like they are now. They were all pretty clumped together. So I think as we were using them, they were just getting worse and worse. Now, what I'm going to do is add dryer sheets to all of these containers because it was pretty miserable going when they were all really bad. And especially if you're a multiplacer and they're clumping together, it, yeah, it's quite frustrating, I have to say. You can see they just will not go back in. Um, Let's try this colour. I think this might have been the moon colour. So again, can you see the clumping? They turn over. They're not sitting particularly well. I don't even think the examples I'm showing you look as bad as they did when we were working on it. Perhaps because I've not been using them. So as you use them, the static could build up and it did create quite a problem. So I am going to sit and put a little square of dryer sheet in each compartment ready to do, gosh, come back in, ready to do another whip and chat another day. And hopefully this static issue will have been sorted and Apart from the static, these diamonds are really good. We haven't had any dimpling issues or um, misshaped diamonds. They are really, really lovely diamonds. So once you can sort out the static, it will be a really great kit to work on, I am sure. And I will, of course, feed that back once I've got this sorted out. And the dryer sheets that I am using are just from the supermarket, basic range, nothing special. And I just cut them into strips. And then open up the container, cut off just little bits. You don't need loads and loads of it in there unless you're working with the bigger tubs, in which case, I would put a little bit bigger strip in or double up. So that's all we need. And you just place it in there and let it do its thing. Easy peasy. And really, I should have done this as I was kitting up or before I went to Whitby. If I'd realised that there was a problem, I certainly would have done that. Some people I know do do this as a matter of course anyway. 
And honestly, I am tempted to do that myself from now on. Oops. Just leave the dryer sheets in there each time I kit down. Anyway, it's always nice to have a fresh dryer sheet with a lovely scent. Have I got any more cut? I don't think so. Cut some more. Simple as that. As I say, the freezer did work, but um, I always go to dryer sheets. I do think this is a really good way of getting rid of static. I've used this before and it does seem to work well. During the video with Anthea, she was breathing on, her, on the diamonds. <laughs> and I did stop and say, Anthea is breathing on the diamonds. Why are you doing that, Anthea? And she replied that she's heard if they are in the plastic packets, then if you breathe into them, it can help the static. However, she was breathing into these pots and it didn't work. So that could be another little tip for you to try. If you don't have dryer sheets or if you're working out of packets anyway, then by all means, give that a go. <laughs> I'd not heard of that before, so I was quite shocked. <laughs> but like I say, if you've not watched that video, then please do catch it and see what Anthea had to say and hear all about her travels throughout the UK. So lovely to have her over here from Australia. All right, I will continue with this and I will catch you another time. Until then, keep sparkling and enjoy your own diamond painting. Take care. Bye.